Hi, I'm Andrea, and I support the happiness contractors at Automatic who provide multilingual support to our customers. Happiness, if you don't know, is what we call all things support here at Automatic. Our full-time support team are called happiness engineers, and that's because they engineer happiness for our customers. The happiness contractors are who provide multilingual support to our customers. And we use the central P2 as an administrative site to onboard, to cross-train, to communicate with, and to serve as a hub for resources for the part-time contractors. So when they come to this site, when they've joined the team, the first thing that they'll see is this link to the ha Happiness Contractors University, which they can visit to find out more about what to expect after training, find information about their workflows or tools or other things that they're going to need throughout their, their work life here. From this central P2, we also have links out to product-specific P2s where they can go to get product updates, announcements about the products, and also report bugs that they come across or that customers report to them. They also can come here to find deadlines for when to submit their availability so that they can get on the schedule. They can find a contractor um, directory to see who all is on the team, along with various other resources. But my favorite part of this of this P2 is that it allows us to gather everyone together in one place without having to gather everyone together at the same time. So when we want to cross-train or onboard team members who are scattered all over the globe, we have these checklists that we can publish to help welcome them to the team or provide the things that they need to train. So for example, if we were to hire a Japanese language contractor for WordPress.com, we would publish a, a checklist for them to welcome them to the team. And on this checklist will be items for them to complete, items for their trainer or their, their buddy to complete, for our hiring team to complete, and for our operations team to complete. So I can publish this during my work day and I can st get started on my checklist while this team member is probably sleeping because it'll be the middle of the night for them. Then when I log off and they log on, they'll be able to go directly to this checklist, see what's already been set up for them in terms of access or permissions, and then they can start working through their checklist and do their self-guided training. Then they log off and when I come back to work the next day for me, I'll be able to see where they are in their training. And all of this can be done without a single email, um, without any Zoom video calls or any phone calls requiring us to be in the same place at the same time. So that is a really wonderful thing <laughs> about this, probably my favorite thing. Um, but another thing that I love about being able to publish the checklist like this is that in addition to the people working on onboarding, everybody else on the team sees it as well. So when we publish a welcome post to welcome a new team member, everyone else can see this post and join in on the comments and welcome them to the team.